Hello, welcome back. Uh, Peter Hayward here doing my Soul Forge thing where I open the packs. I've got 125 basics, one normal, which I got my daily rewards yesterday. Very exciting. Let's see what we've got. I'm wearing a kimono today. It's a Christmas present for my aunt, so I thought I'd show it off for the camera. Basic booster. Not basic, normal. Normal booster. First one of the new set. Ooh, 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 in short. So we've got a Zephyr Mage, which I don't remember. I don't know, it gives other creatures mobility, and we got an Explosive Demise and a Charnel Titan. And I just had uh, Kit's stream open, and I was checking his stuff out. And he seems to be using this quite well, so I'm keen to see how it plays. Um, and another Wither Frost Banshee. Oh good, that gives me three. I put some into my uh, mobility deck, and I freaking love them. They're so good. My mobility deck is not as good anymore because I just don't know what to level. I used to be like, well, there's three cards that make this deck work, I'm going to level them. Now there's like 10 cards that make the deck work, so you really have to adjust your strategy based on what kind of deck you're against, which is good. It's a much better way of doing it. It's really interesting. I'm excited. Wildwood Sower. So yesterday I got a pair of legendaries. I got a Gox. Did I get another legendary? I think I did. Oh yeah, I got another Zivian Chambler, uh, which, you know, it's a legendary. I can't complain too much, but I do already have at least four of those. Um, the new Zix is amazing. I've been trying it out very excited. It's just good. Again, it's in my mobility deck now, and I'm like, I've got so many good cards to choose from, I don't know what to do. It's a hard life being me, basically. Uh, the new Tempest Legendary has been spoiled. It's, a, I think, 4488-1414, who battles an additional time for each spell you cast that turn, which is, people are saying it's broken. People are saying you can actually win on turn two with nothing they can do to stop you with the right draw. Uh, if you get an Abraxas out, and the next turn you get one of him and a Fervent Assault and a Static Shock and all these other things, then you're just set. You're just set for life. There's my Windcaller friend. So, I've got, a I've got no time limit today. It is 11.15am. Uh, my game went really, really freaking well. Here's a, here's, a, here's a preview from it. Uh, that's a Cthulhu card. And here is Medusa. These are all just Google uh, image searches. They're not... The official art or anything like that. Oh, Static Shock. Uh, and I playtested it last night, and it was fun, and I'm really excited to playtest it some more, and it actually works. And I've never made a game that actually worked before, so it was a really lovely evening. Although a tiny part of me was like, I could be playing Soul Forge, the rest of me was like, you know what, this is actually more fun. Hey! Look at that! Three legendaries so far. Very nice. A Boris. I only have the one of those, so I've been keen to try a deck with two. And the Warbringer Uranti, who gives other people attack this turn. Oh, I'm having good luck with these boosters. I assumed that the algorithm had been changed, because I was just getting flooded with heroics, and I've got three legendaries from 100 cards. Uh, it turns out that other people have been getting really crappy cards. Someone opened up Windborn Hellion. That gives me three of them as well, so I'm going to be... I've tried them in the deck, and they're good, but almost... They don't quite... Yeah, I don't, I don't quite know. You, you can play them if you've got a heap of mobility out already, but you don't play them in the hope of getting mobility. Uh, having said that, at level 3, they get freaking scary. So you kind of want to level them, but there's a lot of cards you want to level in that deck, because you have to level the Wind Callers, almost always. You want to level your Doom Wings, because otherwise the deck doesn't work. You want to level your Wither Frost, because they're just insanely good at just taking down cards. Frankenbaum and a Sonic Pulse. See, I'm just getting flooded in Heroics, and Legendaries, it seems. It's pretty nice. Uh, so maybe the, the numbers haven't changed. Uh, Julian emailed me. Uh, just to let me know what was happening. He's been playing draft and he got something like 36 free tickets from buying seven. So he's just been drafting and drafting and drafting. It's been insane. Everyone's saying that the draft rewards are extremely generous, which makes me nervous because I don't think I'm very good at draft and I'm going to put money into it and then just get nothing back and have to put more money into it and I'm a little bit scared. So I'm not going to draft immediately. I'm going to let everyone else draft for a bit and calm down and then I'm going to go into it when the diehard people have, have kind of stepped back, I think. Because right now, like, Kit's been drafting for 12 hours straight, other people have been drafting like crazy. Um, all the really good players have been going draft crazy, and that's scary to me as a not very good drafter, so I'm going to let them draft themselves out. Dark Heart, Wanderer, and another Windcrawler. I'm going to let them draft, and then I'll come in when, they're, when they've calmed down a bit, I think. I'm worried about putting lots of money into draft and not getting any tickets back because I suck at it. Uh, but, ooh, Master of Elements. Oh, and Tarsus! He's apparently very good. People are saying he's great. People are saying that Zymus is actually stronger than it was now because of Tarsus, um, which is interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
What do we got? Uh, yeah, so my game is exciting. This game's exciting. It's a really exciting time of the game. Noxus Cloud, very nice. Ah, I'm just happy generally. I have to get back to work. It's uh, five days till Christmas. It's the 20th of December where I am, and I need to do a heap of work before Christmas because straight after Christmas, nice, Bright Tusk and a Warbringer. Straight after Christmas is when I, as a writer, make my money from Kindle, and so I need to get as much stuff as I can before then which means not playing Soul Forge all day. So I'm thinking of uh, rewarding myself with like a Soul Forge break every time I do a certain amount of work. <laughs> I'm going to use Soul Forge as a, not as a distraction, but as an incentive. Because yeah, I have shit tons of work to do. What do we got here? Another Flame Shaper. People are saying Flame Shaper is still incredibly strong, Zymus is still incredibly strong, and that constructed tournaments are currently pretty much just people playing Zymus and Everflames. That's what Reddit is saying. And so I'm curious to see how my my storm deck goes. Oh, Scythian. It's fourth with the frost now. Curious to see how my uh, my mobility deck goes in the world of constructed because I think it's not the standard deck everyone's playing and it does quite well against most decks. But I still haven't quite got the hang of it, so I'm going to play a few more random matches to really because uh, with the with the green deck you play it differently against different types of decks. Similarly with the mobility deck you play it differently against different types of decks. So you got to I got to learn what the plays are. For instance, against. Uh, you Terra Aloyan, you want to play your Doomwing because they can't be removed. But you don't always want to play them, yeah. It's tricky. It's a tricky, tricky world. Disintegrate. Um, I haven't actually done the math yet of how many tickets my 15,000 gold will buy. There's a lot of talk about a Christmas sale, so I'm almost tempted to wait until the Christmas sale and buy heaps of stuff then. But I also do want to get into drafting slash constructed so that should be enough to buy at least a, a constructed match and that'll hopefully I can uh, play a few rounds on that because I've got I've got some pretty competitive decks I think I think so I've got some uh, some tournament level decks hopefully maybe not we will find out I'm very excited about my game I'm very excited about this game and I have to work that's my life at the moment I'm also very excited about this kimono it's very nice thank you Adi Karen you get a shout out oh a lion highlander Oh, I faced the card that I can never remember, and now I've forgotten again. Hindlin. Hindlin Watchman is the card that I couldn't remember in my last video. The uh, Aloyan one who gets amazing things when he gets buffed. When he gets buffed. Still no Zymus, still no Lyria, still no Heart Tree, but I do have a second Gox and a second Arborus. Still no Hindlin, that's the one. I gotta remember that. There's four legendaries I have not seen a whiff of so far. But I think even more than that, I just want another sugar ice. Oh, I love sugar ice so much. Shrogri. Hmm. We've got another Dark Heart Wanderer. Yeah, it's a funny old world of Soul Forge. It's interesting that, yeah, they buffed Zymus with Tarsus and then weakened him with Justicar. People are saying that Justicar needs to be able to kill Zymus, like, Weakens Zymus as he dies, which he currently doesn't do. Which doesn't make sense for the card, but I can see where they're coming from. I'll be curious to play. So far in the games I've played against other people, I haven't seen any new cards. I've just been on the on the matchmaking, getting my uh, my daily rewards yesterday. Because I didn't have time to do much else. Yeah, I don't think I've actually... I don't think I've gone against any new cards at all. Definitely haven't seen any of the new legendaries, because the uh, the new Necrium legendary kills the weakest creature on the board, that's going to change the way that people play, and that's a really interesting and cool card, mechanically. Ashurian Mystic, a very nice card. It's interesting how Zabraxis hasn't, Abraxis, Abraxis hasn't changed, but because of some of the new cards, people are playing him a lot more than they were. Rune Scarred Zombie, that's the one that, if you play a spell, it comes back? Yes. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the, Z the Zrath changes, which I like the new Zrath. I think that the old Zrath meant that they couldn't put any powerful zombies in, and they must have been like, we want to put powerful zombies in, because that's a cool character type. So we're going to do it, which means we have to nerf Z Zrax. Uh, not Zrax. What's his name? Zrath. Which is fine. Sometimes you need to nerf cards so you can... It's more interesting for the game. I think Kibler officially said... Um, we realised it was a game of lots of zombies running into each other, and I wanted to change that. Having said that, that seems to describe the new Zerath more than the other one. But I'm confident the change is good. 
Windborne Hellion, Bright Tusk Soar. So this is 125 basics and one normal. Another Noxus Cloud. I don't know if I'm going to put that in my green deck or not. I'll have to try it out. I'm just going to be playing a heap of matchmaking to try out all the new cards before I start constructing. So I'm, I'm happy to wait for a uh, for sale to buy into tournaments, I think. Because, yeah, I don't, want to, I don't want to spend my money and then just be like, oh, I lost. Because my deck is really not that good. I want to make sure I've got um, deck mastered before I start putting my money into tournament tournaments. And drafting just scares me at this stage because I'm not very good at it. I'm better than I was. Playing those games against Bobby and getting his feedback was very useful, but having seen people play draft, yeah, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> little bit. We got Twinborn Hellion. Hmm. I like how the guy who's big um, when your opponent has small creatures, he goes well with Epidemic. I like combos. I like some of the... Yeah, the, the new set was made to have interesting combos. I think they've really done that well. Yeah, I'm surprised at the Justicar. I don't think I've got a Justicar. Although, I looked into my... I went into my deck list, uh, my card list, and Stormforged Avatar, Piasong. I don't know what Piasong does. Too late. Um, I went into my deck list, and it turns out I'd got one of the new heroics in one of those packs that just didn't show me the opening of it. Uh, so that's keen to see how that is. How that is. When I go to tournaments, I think honestly I'm going to try my Fuck Shaker deck because it's now official, like it's legal, and it seems to be very powerful against certain decks. So I'm going to see if, if it's as powerful as I think it is, and if not, I'll just cry in a hole. I don't think any new cards that would go well in it. Nothing springing to mind. Maybe maybe Pyre Song. I don't know. Pyre Song is just more removal. Om Nom Nom is one of the new cards. Uh, Batana Mage, Strength in Numbers, Channel Titan. Channel Titan's one that grows big depending on them having weak creatures, which is just a cool mechanic. Um, what was I saying? Om Nom Nom is one of the new cards, and he seems pretty cool. He is target zombie you control gets a bonus. Target zombie the other person gets a, a debuff. So it's buff and debuff, all in one card, and it's zombie themed. And again, you yeah, with the old Zrath, they didn't want people to be able to do that, which makes sense. So the new Zrath with some of the new cards is much more exciting. Also, they named a card Om Nom Nom. So good on you, Stoneblade. Good on you, crazy caterpillars. I wonder if Kibler's just spent the whole uh. Or last 24 hours drafting. These are the tokens from the Resistance Avalon, which I was using because my game has yes no tokens, so I just use these because they're pretty and I had them. What am I after? I want some. I would love some of the new heroics. I'd love a legendary, but I'd always love a legendary. Even if it's a legendary I already have, I'm kind of like, from a basic pack. Do, 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 do. Tower Vanguard, he's the one who, if he gets attack, gets armor? No, if he gets armor, he gets attack. I really like the art on him. It's not pretty. Okay. It's very blurry. So he's obviously built for a uh, combination with Steel Shaper Savant and the new Sonic Pulse, and yeah, not Sonic Pulse, the new, the new Pulse, whatever it's called. Very cool Aegis Pulse. I used to work at a place called Aegis, so it's got a very specific call century tone to my to my mind. Open next pack. Hmm. So the plan for today is to work, but when I get a chance to not work, the plan is to test out my decks, chuck in these extra mobility cards. I took out Flame Blade Champion. And I took out, I had three Metascopes in there, which I think was, no, I didn't have any Metascopes. I had three Dread Bolts, maybe. I had three or something, and I took one of them out. Because uh, I want, basically, yeah, the, with a Frost Banshee is now kind of my removal, and she's a creature, which is so nice. Such a nice card. Um, oh, actually, I'll go and show you. I'll go and show you the changes I made, but I'm going to make more changes, because A, I've got more cards, and B, I'm going to keep on tweaking it until it's as good as I think I can make it. And then I'm going to throw it into... 
I'm going to play it online a lot, and then I'm going to throw it into a tournament and see how it goes. Exciting! The patch has landed, and it's everything I hoped it would be. And I get to open 125 packs in a video. Which is fun. <laughs> What do we got? Basic pack. I like the Everflames on there. He's kind of breaking the ground. Aegis Pulse. Nice. Oh my god, when set 2 comes back, comes back, it's going to be crazy overwhelming. Probably going to keep on saving my basic packs and do another big lots of pack on opening because I enjoy them. I think it's fun going through 100 packs and getting legendaries and stuff like that. It's just a. To me, it's an entertaining way of, of making a video. Hopefully, it's fun to watch. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Necro Slime. Dreadbolt killed Necro Slime. But you need Dreadbolt. <laughs> it's a necessary card. I wish that the, um, the card that gave all your health creatures health would uh, was more playable, but it's not. Oh, the Colossus has been buffed, hasn't he? Actually, check that out. And Forge Guardian Alpha was buffed, but I still don't think, like, the, what's, what's the, the server one? It hasn't been buffed, and no one played it at all ever, and it still hasn't been buffed. It should be like 80 health or something crazy. Just some insane amount of health, because it does nothing else. So if you give it 80 health, then uh, you can chuck it down in front of a Shagrias and not have to worry about that for a few turns. You chuck it down in front of anything and not have to worry. I think, yeah, they should have made, um, they should have made that card insane. Because right now it's just boring and unplayable. If they made it insane, it would be fun. Hey, look at that! Speak of the devil. When he has five or more attack, he gets mobility three. When he has ten or more attacks, so a single battle tactician won't do that. You have to buff him and battle tactician, or buff him in a loy in general, or some kind of additional buff. Whereas this one, you can get it from just any of the any of the standard buffs. And then when it has 20, so you need to buff it a lot, but it gets freaking scary. Breakthrough aggressive, mob mobility 3, regenerate 5, armor 5. Ah, so I'm, I don't have to remember the name anymore, which is nice. I now only lack Lyria, oh, and the four new ones, actually. I've gone from 3, I'm lacking 4 to lacking 8, and now down to 7. Yes, the four new ones, Zymus, Lyria, Heart Tree. I'm okay not having a heart tree. I'm sort of okay not having a Lyria, though I would like one, but yeah, Zymus seems to be the card to have. Hindle and Watchman, I'm glad I got it after it got fixed, because it would have been frustrating otherwise. So maybe I'll chuck that in a deck with... Uh, what's the other one that gets... He gets buffed. There's another card that when he gets buffed, he gets... Oh yeah, it's a new new card, so I don't have it yet. Or maybe I do, Scipion Infiltrator. Maybe I've got it and I just haven't noticed yet. Natural Selection. I'm really glad that they buffed, I think I said this yesterday, but buffed Lightning Brand, because it was not a playable card, and now it's a super playable card. It gives them more attack, it gives them aggressive, and it gives them aggressive a, le a level before, and it's just cool. It's a bit too much in my chest that you're seeing now. Sorry about that, viewers. I know you're here for the cards, not the chest, but what can I say? I just can't help flashing myself to you. Here you go, Forge Guardian Alpha did get buffed, but he's still crap. <laughs> 4, 8, 8, 14. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. I don't know if it'll get much play, but with Jetpack, it's pretty good. Any any deck where you're throwing a Jetpack in anyway, maybe throw a few of those in, because it'll get... I think it gets more attack and mobility now, or maybe it just gets mobility and lacks Defender. But, yeah, I don't think, I don't think people are going to play it. Stasis Warden... Uh, I feel like Bobby has gone 3-0 in a couple of drafts now, and I feel a lot better about losing to him. I thought that I was I was much worse than I was because he kept kicking my ass. Turns out that he's very good at draft. Uh, also, I'm, I'm crap, but I'm crap, but not as crap as I thought I was because he's very good. Dark Heart Wonder is a nice card. I think people have tried a Dark Heart Static Shock deck, but it doesn't work. Static Shock, I'm worried about. Static Shock, I think, is has the potential to be the game-breaking card at the moment because it just... Makes Flame Shaper insane. It makes uh, ah Nexus Pilot got the buff. That's right. It makes Flame Shaper insane. It makes Wildwood Sower insane. It's gonna it's gonna make that new Legendary insane. I feel like Static Shock they they may have made a mistake with. It's so powerful. 
Zephyr Mage. I got a second Gox now, that's nice. I'm gonna chuck him in my, uh, my Firebomb deck, because I found myself, the more I played him, the better I did, because he just gets you access to your bombs, so two of those will be very nice. And I've got a Hinterland Watchman, so I might build a deck around that. If I've got if I've got any uh, Scythian Infiltrators, I'll definitely make a a Loyan Utera deck. I'm gonna try that out. And so now, ah, okay, Noxus Cloud, the one that poisons all of an opponent's creatures, means that you can have an Aloyan Utera deck without just getting steamrolled by. Echo Wisp, because it counters Echo Wisp really nicely. That card suddenly makes more sense. It means that everyone, except for a Loyan, pure Loyan, now has a counter to Echo Wisp. And just uh, Swarm decks in general, in fact. So yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy with that card. I think that's a cool idea. So yeah, I'm going to chuck in... I'm going to make an Loyan New Terra deck with Noxus Cloud, Hinterland Watchman, Scythian Infiltrator, Ferocious Roar, obviously. So I'll try some battle tacticians, I think. Keep a buffs. Bunch of buff cards and a bunch of creatures who like to be buffed. Maybe Life Shaper Savant. Count two faces, I think. I've got very dark facial hair. <laughs> what a silly thing to say, but it's true. Look at myself and being like, I'm very dark today. Uh, so. Basic packs. I'm going to have a look at my collection. I've got 40 to go. Let's have a look at the cards that I've got. So I got bored of opening them temporarily. I've got seven Charnels. <laughs> Let's sort by rarity. Have a look at my fancy new cards. I've got five of the Enchamblers now. Eight, no, five Flame Blade Champions. Seven Synapsis Oracles. Four Zix, but I'm happy with that now. Zix used to be a waste of a card. Now it's a really nice, powerful card. I've got, I don't want to open it, I just want to scroll down. Two Gox, very nice. Terra, Arclight, Dooming. Two Call the Lightnings. Uh, I'm sure I got one of the new... One of the new... Uh, what are they called? Heroics. I've got a nerfed Zerath. Not nerfed, altered. I like the new Zerath. Because yeah, my Zerath deck was not fun. I never liked it. I played it a few times and didn't enjoy it. Man, oh I didn't. I thought I had a new one. Have I missed it? Ah, there it is. Om nom nom. That's the new one I got. Plus two... Plus four, plus six, opponent, non-robot, non-zombie. Huh. So the zombies can't eat robots. That's interesting. Um, that's a cool new card. And then I think I've got all of the rares and commons. So I won't go through, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've got them. Drift Lasher makes a lot more sense that now that draft exists because it's kind of an interesting mechanic, but you don't want people like people won't be able to draft a Flame Blade Champion because Rift Lasher Rift Lasher has always just been the crappier Flame Blade Champion, but now he has an actual purpose, which is interesting. He's still a crappy one, but it means he gets play in draft, and it's obviously a mechanic that they wanted in draft, so jolly good. I have not eaten today, and I just realised that <laughs> I should do that at some point. Light Shield Patrol. Does Light Shield Patrol get a boost from... Yeah, I can't remember. I think maybe it does. I think maybe it gets armor if it's got more attack. Nexus Core. Come on, you guys. You've got to buff. You've got to boost that. It's so crap. It's so unusably crap. You can't even jetpack it. It just does nothing. No one's ever played that card. I would like to see that card in a winning deck. That's my challenge to you, viewer. Put that card in a really good deck and use it. Don't just like have a really good deck that also has that card. Have that in a deck and use it. I don't think it's possible. Not even possible. 
So yeah, Talvan card gets buffed from armor, the other ones get buffed from attack. I don't think you want both mechanics in the same deck, I think that'd be confusing. Tarsus Death Weaver. Not many to go now. Chances of getting a Zymus are looking pretty low at the moment. That's okay. We can't all have Zymuses. Some of us, me, just need to miss out. Apparently people are drafting a decent number of legendaries, so that's really interesting. There is a good chance of getting them, so there's a reason to draft, to try to get Zymus. Or Lyria, I also want Lyria, but uh, oh my god, imagine drafting Zymus, you'd just be unbeatable. Because people would be like, oh, well, we can't stop that card. That would be very nice, that would, that would run you 3-0, I think. I mean, obviously you'd have to also play well in a good deck, but uh, yeah, I think that would be, that'd be a very, very lucky draft. People are so excited about the rewards, because everyone's been like, $6 is too expensive, but the rewards are so good that everyone's like, you pay $6 once, and if you're good, you just go forever. Uh, I'm not good, so <laughs> I will be paying $6 many times. $6.50 I think it comes out to. But yeah, I'm going to wait for the Christmas specials before I do anything crazy. Yeah, so this card, Noxious Cloud, means that that deals with level 1 Echo Wisp, that deals with level 2, and that deals with level 3 Echo Wisp. So yeah, it's sort of the anti-Echo Wisp for Terra, meaning that alone your Terra is not victim to Echo Wisps anymore. So that's an interesting change to the meta. Also, Aloyan does have the um, the Justicar, who weakens. Doesn't stop them, but does definitely weaken the Echo Wisps. <sighs> Tarsus. I can't play too much. I got a Gox, I got a Hinterland, there are two cards I wanted, and I got another freaking Zivian Shambler, but I think I've gotten a few of them from gold, so I'll be able to actually trade them when trading comes around, rather than just crafting them. If people want them, I don't know, people will be really keen to get a Zivian Shambler. Or actually a Synapsis Oracle, or a Flameblade Champion. I think I've got the three that are going to be least desired in trades, but uh, someone might want them. The pattern of this on my screen, I don't know if it's going to show up in the video, but the pattern on this is doing really weird things on the screen, all like staticky. How many have we got to go? 22 to go, and then no more packs ever. <sighs> what a lovely night I had. What a lovely day I've got ahead of me. It's a good life. You want to see yourself? I have a mirror next to me. That's, oops, no. That's what you look like, computer. <laughs> and there's my... What's that? Oh, wrong way. There's my fish tank. And that was very silly, and I got the track working pack. Static shock. Crazy card. I accidentally uploaded my, op my previous one, opening 88 boosters, onto my main channel, which my little brother pointed out. Hi, William. Uh, although, yeah, he will see this. I was going to say, he won't see this because I've re uploaded it. No, that's the last video that he won't see again. Or manga mod. Um, so yeah, the daily reward is just 500 for your first play. They don't have more for the more you play. To your first online play, I mean. First online win? First online play. One of them. So again, they front-loaded the rewards, which is such a good way of going. I like it so much. I really like Soul Forge. Is this out of sync? No, not really. I Okay, it's out of sync for me, which is weird. 
There's a second behind. Oh well. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry if it's out of sync. I can't do much about that. Unfortunately. I'll clap at the very end of the video and I'll be able to sync to that. So, you'll be seeing goodbye to me with a clap. Hundred twenty five is too many packs to open at once. Especially when there's a long stretch of nothingness. I did get a Hinterland Hinterland Watchman. Hinterland Watchman. Which is a robot, I think, so I could go on my robot deck. Actually there are a few new robots, aren't there? Maybe robots will suddenly be more viable. Maybe not. With constructed full of Zymus and Everflame. I think you want to play a rush deck to really have a chance in there. Hmm. Thinky thoughts. I like that Pyre Giant has a place in this game. That's a lot of Bulwark Bashes at the beginning. Pyre Giant, you can play him at level 3, and if you've got an Abraxas on the hand in the, in the deck and a Call of the Lightning in your hand, then he's actually an incredibly powerful card. So he does have a place, he's not just useless. Hey, Frostwild. So I've got Om Nom Nom, but none of the other new heroics, which is fine. Gives me something to collect over the next little while. I've got none of the new legendaries, so that brings me up to seven legendaries I don't have. And I think I've got almost a full place out of all the commons and rares now. But I will check that on my own time. And uh, yeah, it gives me... When you have everything, I think you're not excited by opening packs. Even now that I have most things, I'm a bit like, premium pack, yay! Oh, it's a card that I already have seven of. Uh, having said that, there's a lot of nice premium cards that I want. I want another Chagrias, I want Lyria, I want Zymus, I want the four new ones, I want a third Gox would be nice, honestly. I almost have enough Gox now to try my hand at a, um, a Drawforge deck, which I've never done. Although now Drawforge meta has been changed again by the new Alloyan Legendary, so maybe I'll have to wait until I get one of him. Also, I think Drawforge is pretty dull. I tried making one. Hey, we would Patriarch, that's new. Very nice, I'm glad I got that. Oh, that's an interesting card. Maybe it would be worth doing a robot deck that's a Loyan Uterra with a Weirwood Patriarch. All those robots who get buffed as they get more power and a bunch of ferocious rules and even enraged. That would be an interesting play. Although, they can get bonus attack from that little uh, the little robot, can't they? Munitions drone. No, not munitions drone, the other one. So maybe that's the trick. Yeah, I'm going to try some interesting stuff out. So next time you see me, I might have some new decks to uh, to explore with you. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just prefer my... No, I don't know. I was going to say, I can use my silver to buy heaps of new decks a lot. So nope, spent it all on basics. Out of packs, that's all of them. So, that's very nice. Actually, I want to quickly see in the store how much it costs to buy... I've got enough for two. Oh, I've got enough for heaps. I've got enough for a million tournament tickets. Jeez. Look at that. I can buy freaking 15,000 gold is a lot. <laughs> I can buy 60 tournament tickets. Great. So I'm going to buy 10 and see. Okay, cool. I'm not worried at all then. I thought I was going to have to spend heaps of gold to get them. But uh, I thought I was going to have to buy more gold to buy event tickets. But no, I've got enough for plenty of event tickets. That's fine. Um, that's all from me today. Uh, I'm going to work first today. I might make another video. I might make a daily play. I don't know. Look at my freezy, freezy kimono. Um, I'm going to clap. I'm going to clap on camera. And uh, see, it's delaying for me, so that's it's confusing. I won't bother with the details. Thank you so much for watching me open a bunch of packs. I'm going to look straight into you, camera, instead of at myself. Um, Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you around the drafting tournament. I've got enough gold to buy heaps of tickets. I'm very excited about that. I'll see you around. Bye!